first tonight, a man has told this program how he was forced to work as a child slave after being taken into foster care. Terry Lodge says he was sent to a foundry when he should have been at school in Nottinghamshire. Forty years on, he has complained to the police and his case has been raised in Parliament. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. To start the casting operation, giant furnaces filled... How could an 11-year-old have been forced to work in a place like this when he should have been at school and forced to earn money for foster parents who should have been caring for him? It's a shocking claim of child slavery that's now been reported to Nottinghamshire Police. Started uh, doing some moulds, then fetching scrap for the uh, metal burner, the foundry, and then holding uh, the pot you know, when it was ready to pour. Got a bit out of control because when everyone was phoning up, complaining, I was working all the time, that they made me have two clocking on cards. Terry's dark catalogue of child abuse claims began when he was only eight years old. Terry says he was first sent out to work on a Nottinghamshire farm several miles away from here. Back at his foster home, he says he was beaten and sometimes starved. And when he complained to the police and teachers and social workers, Terry says no one stepped in to help him. We told them all and it was, every time every one of us complained about it, tell them, it was all just classes lies. They spoiled me child life and they spoiled me manhood and everything. Children being sold as slave labour onto farms is a scandal yet to emerge in this country. Terry's local MP has raised his case in Parliament and John Mann says Terry's given him detailed records that prove there was a conspiracy of silence. There will be more people like Terry out there, many more. It shows the levels of depravity that were there, but also the collusion, without question having met him many times now and heard his story. The collusion of the authorities who didn't want to know. Terry Lodge knows he won't get his lost school days back, but 40 years on he wants the council to make amends by helping him learn to read and he wants them to give him an apology. Well, Jeremy's with us in the studio now. It's just awful, this, isn't it? Shocking, isn't it? And uh, this is now being formally investigated by Nottinghamshire County Council. They've sent me a statement this afternoon that says that Terry's complaints are being taken very seriously. There's now a social worker supporting him, and he's also been given a number of adult literacy sessions to help with his reading. Is that going to be enough? Because he really suffered in his youth. Didn't he? Yeah, it's not going to be enough for his local MP, I don't think. John Mann has said that there have only been five of those literacy classes, even though Terry can't read or write because he missed so much schooling. Now, uh, in the last hour, the County Council has told me that that's just the start. He's now been offered at least 15 more classes. And after so many years, the Council says, this is going to be a really complex investigation. I bet it will. Thanks, Jeremy.